All right, first triple tail from the tower. These are cool fish. Look at that, a nice little white tail in the end. All right, that is gonna be a pretty good. Oh, they're coming after it. They're coming after it. Eat. Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong. In this video, we're gonna be doing some near shore fishing. We've had this request come in a lot. We're going after triple tail. I'm up here in the crow's nest. So I have a bit of an advantage, but it's just me. You can absolutely do this without a tower. And the best news is for this type of fishing, you don't need to have any special gear. I literally am using the same exact setup that I normally do for fishing the shallows, right? This is a, a rod for inshore, the 2500 reel, the Power Prawn Junior on a normal jig head, and, uh, and triple tail. Absolutely love that lure and that combo is plenty to catch even really big triple tail. So the reason I'm doing this is because stone crab season recently opened, so there's a lot of scent in the water just off the beaches, and that drives in a lot of fish, right? Triple tail, also kingfish. There's a, a lot of fish will come in with all that scent, and so I'm gonna try to take advantage of that on this nice, calm day, and hopefully sight fish some triple tail. I've got the power prawn, also brought my fly rod, and uh, so I've never caught one on fly, so I've always wanted to do that. So. I will let you know how it goes. I'll record the trip and hopefully we catch some big ones soon. So this is the act of finding triple tail. This time of year, what they'll do is they hang under the crab trap buoys and they'll literally be in, in some cases like right on it. Sometimes they'll be a, a couple feet down, but uh, they lay on their sides. So they're pretty easy to see. It almost looks like a, like a plastic baggie in the water. And when you see that under a buoy, uh, we're behind it then that's a, a very that's time to, to stop and go up there and check it out so i was basically just going along these uh, these crab trap buoys i need to stay close enough to see under the buoy but far enough away so that the splash of the boat doesn't hit the buoy because that will spook them they, they are pretty stubborn fish there i just saw i just saw one they're pretty stubborn fish but if you get too close and especially if the splash from the boat hits the buoy it'll often spook them all right, so starting to approach this buoy. So we saw a, a pretty nice one. It was borderline keeper on this buoy right here. So I'm gonna take my time, getting up there nice and slowly. It looked like he got a little bit spooked from the boat wake. So I gave him a little bit of time to settle down. Just been, there's no rush. It's not gonna go anywhere. It'll probably go down and it'll eventually come back up. So sneaking up there, it looks like I see him under the buoy still. Yep. And I was big, big uh, thing is to see which direction they're facing. So this one is facing out to the left. So we're going to cast on the left side of the buoy. Cast five, six feet over it. Reel in front. And then let's see if he eats. Ooh, that's a nice one too. Oh, got one. Got him. There's actually two of them. This, this one, this is a smaller one. It hit underneath. Actually, no, the other one's a little bit small too. Dang, I think I might have seen both of them. And the, the silhouette of both of them threw me off. So two shorts on there. I'm just getting up to close looking at it. Yeah, another short one. So at least on the board. But yeah, that's the tactic. So the same tactics works whether it's a big one or small one. Get up there, get up there close, make an accurate cast, present that shrimp, feel the thump, and let them have it. So there we are. Triple tail number one. Always nice when the plan works out. Now we just have to find a bigger one. Yeah, they absolutely love love these power prawns look at this guy in the sun these are cool fish look at that a nice little white tail in the end i've never seen that so let this guy go oh sorry there little fella twitched at the, at the wrong second and just in case there's some more so it looked like his buddy just slowly went down to the bottom so we'll see if we can get one of these these are really stubborn fish and if you get a lure in front of them they'll they don't play around all right, that didn't work, but anyhow, we're on the board. Let's go find some more. All right, little guy on this one. Let's see if we can get him from the from the tower. Glare's really bad. These clouds uh, moved in have not helped our situation. I'm not I'm not even gonna turn the motor off. If he spooks off, I'm not gonna be worried. See, so make sure he's still on there. Yep, I think I see him. Let's see if this works. Oh. Get one more shot at him. Ah. 
Oh, he's just sitting there right on the surface. He must be a little bit spooked. <laughs> Probably doesn't help that he's looking right at me. We'll get another cast on there and then be on our merry way. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I guess he's just really small. All right. I guess we got to try one more time. I mean, you can just feel even these small ones, they absolutely just smack it. These are just just mean little fish. Okay, he's out, he's after how he just so he's actually not eating it. He's just he's just bumping it. But that time I didn't set the hook. I was going to let him let him eat it for a bit and he just came up and thumped it and swam off. See if he gets it again. All right, it's just a small guy. We shouldn't be wasting time on that. But uh, anyhow, pretty cool. My first thump from the tower. All right, this one looks a little bit bigger. It's probably still a little bit too small. But we're going to give it a try. He'll be close. Kind of tough to tell, though. Haven't done this this season, so uh, my eyes aren't yet adjusted to the uh, length measurements. After a while, you'll be able to basically you see him and know if it's worth messing with or not. So let's see if we can get him to eat. So we're kind of taking it basically right in front of its face. Oh, sees it. All right, this one's definitely too small, but we'll, we'll give it a whirl. He is just to, the, just to the left of the buoy. I'm gonna try to bring it over, see if we can swing it in. He hadn't committed. Sometimes it's like the 10th cast. You just gotta get one right, right on their face. Let's see if I'll, I'll just buzz it right there over them. Ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> over him got it. That's funny, I jumped it over his back. And he came up and smacked it. So he's mad at the world right now. He just lost his meal. So usually it's, oh, I got a, I got a wind knot. Oh, he's looking at it. So let it go down until I feel, oh, there he is, got him. Wind knot and all. <laughs> First triple tail from the tower. He's actually a little bit bigger than I thought. But he's gonna be, he's probably gonna be too short. He's probably 15, 16 inches. How cool. Got the wind knot in my reel, but a 10 pound braid is more than enough, right? I have a pretty loose drag out here. The only thing you have to worry about is the rope, and that's really not that big of a deal. Whoa. And you have to worry about them going over under the boat. Whoa, man, he's he's actually fighting like he's bigger than I thought. <laughs> Just really not sure what quite what to do in this instance. Alright. Ooh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna motor up and get away from this buoy and then get down. And we will have the first triple tail from the tower. All right, so let's see how we do this without messing anything up. All right, there we are. All right, so next one, it's gonna be the fly rod, next short one. Yeah, he's short. He's probably, he's probably 16. He's a couple inches short. All right, first triple tail from the tower. Another borderline keeper. I'm, I'm going to try the fly rod on this one. See if we can get him to fly. So I'm just setting up, taking my time. Let me get down. Get the fly rod kicking. And here goes nothing. I'm trying to do two records back to back. So here's the old fly rod, the late weight. Little fly tied probably three or four years ago. Let's see if we can make it happen. I'm not a fly guy, so I'm not opposed to putting some Dr. Juice inshore slam scent on this bad boy to increase my odds. Get some nice scent in there. That's what I've been using on the power prawns, really everything lately is this, this scent and nice little Scent on there, oh man, this thing should work. Oh yep, there's one on there, sweet. All right, this could be history. We got triple tail with the fly rod, for me at least. I've never done this before. Let's 
So I'm stripping it right in front. Let's see if he comes out and gets it. Oh, I don't think he saw it. Give another shot at it. Actually, he didn't seem to appreciate the noise. Let's see if he comes up and eats it. Oh, he's he looked at it. All right, so he didn't seem to like that. We'll get that shrimp back. All right, so here's another shrimp I have. This is a lure I've actually been testing out. One that I poured myself, actually. Put a little Dr. Juice on there. And let's see. This works. Even put a little Dr. Juice on my line just to increase the odds. Apparently they're into shrimp. So this will be an interesting test. This will be the first time I've cast this lure. See if we can have first time success. Nice little sparkly. Might have a little too much glitter in there. I got one a little overboard. But part of learning how to pour plastics. All right, so I'm getting back up to that buoy. Got a new shrimp lure. Drag set properly. Still same line. Let's see if we can have them come out and eat. Nope, didn't like that one. We'll get a little bit closer to him. Oops, there we are, got him. Nice. <laughs> I'll swim it right through there and he came up and smacked it. This one's probably gonna be another 16, 17 incher, but man, they're fun. Ooh, hello. Got some weight to them down there. Yeah, they get on their side like that and start fighting. Ooh. But even these big ones, although they do fight pretty good, they can absolutely be caught on this light line, especially around, especially just around the, the buoys. Ooh. It's really no hard structure for them to get into. Let's see what we're dealing with here. All right. Another triple tail in the boat. Yeah, that one, I'm not gonna bother measuring him. He's probably they're just about the same size as the other one. All right, success on the new shrimp lure. That's awesome. So ready for more? Let's try to get some bigger ones. All right, so just, just saw one on this buoy right here, and this will be the first time I've used the trolling motor from up top. I've always wanted to try this as well. So I'm getting a lot of first today, so that's cool. We have the Altera, the Minn Kota. And this one looked a little bit bigger. It's still, it's still going to be a, a short keeper or barely not keeper, but it's worth, it's worth getting a little bit more quiet than running the big engine like I've been doing in the past. So re-rigged power prawn on the trot eye jig head. Same inshore setup, 10 pound braid, 20 pound mono leader. That's more than enough. It's probably not smart that I'm up here up top like this, but it sure is fun. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to see these strikes. Okay, he's, he's back under the buoy. I'm thinking that he's going to be short now that I'm seeing closer, but this will be cool. So he's facing, he's on the right side of the buoy facing left. So we're going to swim it through. Oh, he's after it. Oh, I think he just got it. Yep. Oh man. <laughs> he missed it. See, he's out there looking for it. So he's mad at the world and he's getting me to get back there ASAP. All right. He's going to come smack this one. Watch this. Ooh, he turned on it. Turned on it. Got him. Nice. <laughs> Make sure to get the hook set in there. Golly, this. Oh my gosh. No, he just he just spit. All right, let's see if we can get him to eat it again. He's still trying to figure out what happened. Let me get my lure set up right. Golly. He was swimming towards me, so I couldn't get a good hook set. Oh, that's a bummer. I think he was a little bit short, so I'm not too disappointed. But man, that was a missed opportunity. So it looks like he eventually spooked. I, he was looking normal on the surface and then he went down. We'll get another cast up in there for good measure. But I think we're gonna have to go up to the next buoy and hopefully we don't have any errors like that. Bummer. Hopefully we'll get one to eat. This will be cool. All right. All right, that is gonna be a pretty good. Oh, they're coming after it. They're coming after it. Eat, eat. 
Oh, they're looking at it. <laughs> oh, oh man, I had one hit. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to eat. Eat it. Oh man, so it looks like they're they're looking at it. They want it to drop. So I think that's why those crab lure or those shrimp lures look work so good with the jigs is that they like the drop. They're following it. Ooh. Oh, eat it, eat it. He's following, following. Oh, all right. So now he's back. All right. This is gonna. This is. This should be it. All right. Strip it fast. Eat. Oh, oh man, <laughs> he ate it. How is he missing this little bitty fly? All right. All right, this this should be it. Let's see if we can get one to eat it for good. Oh, they're following. Oh. All right, this is gonna go directly over their heads. Golly, they're just not, they just don't want the fly. They're gonna, they wanna see that drop. All right, lesson learned. Next time bring in a fly with some with some uh, some eyes on it that makes it sink. All right, so here are the lures that we're using in this video. This top one is the fly, and as you can see, there's no weight on it. So when it when I stopped it, right on the pause, it basically just holds in the water and just does a very very slow sink. Whereas the Power Prawn Junior, right, this is rigged on a jig head. So as soon as it stops, you know, as soon as the retrieve stops, it does a, a dive. And it really seemed like most of the strikes happen on the dive itself. So highly recommend when you are targeting these triple tail is to use a jig like this. This one in this exact setup is my, my favorite overall. And that's the Power Prawn Junior tail. This is that, that tail that's uh, made over in Brazil. These, these lures are awesome. It can be rigged on a variety of different things, but for triple tail, I really like the 3 16 ounce jig head or a quarter ounce, either one works just fine. And you can use both the uh, the trout eye, this is a trout eye jig head, or the power prawn jig heads, the ball jig heads that, that are made specifically for power prawns. These work the best overall, uh, but, it, but if you just have a bunch of jig heads, a bunch of these normal trout eyes, you can absolutely rig uh, these, uh, these lures on them as well. And so, as I mentioned earlier in the video, and I, as I showed, is I highly recommend putting some scent on these lures. These triple tail will usually follow for a good while before they strike. And so making sure that you don't have any bad scents, number one, and number two, that you actually have a really good scent, I'd recommend this Dr. Juice Inshore Slam scent combined with this Power Prawn Junior on the jig head is, uh, is, is really, really impressive. One last thing, if you need to get these items, they're all available at fishstrong.com. We have it in stock right now, and uh, this is the only place to get these items, including the scent as well as these Power Prawn Junior Tails. These things are awesome. So fishstrong.com, I'll put a link down below. And as always, Insider Club members get huge savings on all their tackle from fishstrong.com. That's it for now. I'll leave a question down below if you have any. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it. We actually guarantee you'll be catching more fish than ever before while saving both time and money. We do this through our premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.